Hi, Bubba. What are you doing? Fam? Say hey, Plant Fam! Welcome back to our channel if you are new here. My name is Jacqueline, this is Crash, and we have got a box and we're gonna open it. He's been trying to eat the box, so he'll be happy when he can finally have it, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry for the really bad lighting. We're literally just sitting on the floor in the living room. Everything is normal. It's really early in the morning. I just woke up. <laughs> so this is the only place where we have like some natural light that didn't require me um, setting things up. I recently won a giveaway from a company called Honey Plant Co. So yeah, I won this giveaway. It was a gift card and I went on their website and I bought some Hoyas. And they've been sitting in this box for like a while now because I wasn't home. So this is why we're literally just like sitting on the floor opening this box real real fancy like today you know so it's a pretty big box and i'm gonna try not to move around too much because the exposure probably is gonna suck my cat is literally just sitting here purring with his ass up in the air like pet me can you put your butt down please you're gonna have an asthma attack thank you i ordered two hoya two and a trellis because I need more of those for all my Hoya. And I'm excited to check them out because like I said, they've been in here for like a while because I wasn't home to receive the package because they sent it and it got here in like two days. I didn't expect it to be that quick. <laughs> so I didn't realize that I wasn't gonna be here when it arrived. But thankfully, you know, I had somebody here, my mother, to um, bring it in for me. So I'm assuming this is one of the trellises that I ordered, but it looks like they also included a second one, which is really sweet because I only ordered one, which is this one. So let's check that out. Oh, it's cute. So it's just like a little double loop trellis nothing too fancy um i just remember reading that it's like some type of metal that like doesn't get rusty or like i don't know it's like it's not cheap wire like it's not you know it's good quality so that one is called the double circle trellis this is um honey plant co on etsy so i will leave the link to them obviously in the description and this one cost $25 so and then they sent me the larger one which is funny because I actually was having a hard time deciding between the two which is nice I'm in a weird mood I didn't sleep well last night and I just I'm not feeling great so I'm sorry this isn't how I planned this video to go I have another package coming in the mail later in the week with another Hoya in it so hopefully when I film that I won't look like this um, but who knows because this is just how we're filming these days apparently and I have not done my eyebrows in like a hot minute so like that's a thing um I don't know how much this one is I think it was around the same price if not the same price but I ended up going with this one because it's just like thinner and taller and I have a lot of like baby Hoyas right now but I definitely need larger ones as well so thank you oh my goodness I'm really happy about that I had to like read the thing multiple times because I was like did I order two like no I didn't order two I only ordered one I ordered two Hoyas though, and they're both in six inch pots, so they're not small Hoyas. And um, I think these are the ones that dissolve in water, so that's okay. They are taped into the box. I'm trying to like show you. So they're in pots. See the pots down here. And they're taped down. 
so I'm just going to have to remove this tape. You probably can't even hear me. <laughs> just peanuts everywhere. It's beautiful. My new hat. I ordered this as well. <sighs> you guys, I'm weird. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but also, I'm not. I really don't care. These are bigger than I anticipated. I'm going to take the rubber band off. I always like it when they do that, though. They're packaged really nicely, so... But I have good reason to believe that the plants are also in really nice shape. I don't know which one this is. So there's more peanuts, which is fine. Can't get them out. Okay, okay, okay. See new growth on it. All right, let's get in there. I mean, it's packaged very well. There's just a little bit of loose soil, but that's okay. Getting all the peanuts out. And this is my new Hoya Crinkle 8. You guys, this is the Hoya Carnosa. I just call it Crinkle, but it's called Crinkle 8. I like to call it the Crinkle. So I have a little baby one of these that I purchased like as just a little two leaf cutting a while back. And it's growing. It's got more than two leaves now. But when I saw this one, I was just like, oh wow. So yeah, when I saw this one, I was just like, wow, how can I not get this and it's got like all these look at this new growth look at it the little baby leaves there there's little baby leaves here little baby leaves here so yeah i'm excited to have like a larger one of these i don't know where i'm gonna put it but i'm excited to have one <laughs> i couldn't help myself it's so stinking cute isn't it adorable? Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so that one cost Hoya Crinkle 8 6 inch pot $42 for that one. I paid $20 for two leaves, so I'm not mad. And then the next one that I got is another Hoya, and I'm very excited because this is another one that I bought as like a two leaf cutting, and it's growing. It's just a plant that, even though it's like definitely a more common like these aren't rare Hoya by any means they're definitely harder to find in like you know nurseries and big box stores obviously compared to other Hoyas but this one here is like one of the most requested ones that I get from people who like want to trade and who are looking for Hoya cuttings and I don't know why it seems to be so hard to get your hands on for some people, but I don't see it that often either. And it is one of my favorite Hoyas. I have, like I said, a small one of this, and I also have one that's like crossed with this plant. So it's like a hybrid of this one. And one of the reasons why I like it is because it looks similar in many ways to this one. So. I'm excited to see it because I've never had a large plant of this before. I've always just had a baby plant. I won one of these in a giveaway a long time ago, and I don't know what happened. The plant just rotted one day. I had it. It was happy. It was fine. It was growing, and then one day it just totally rotted, and I couldn't figure out why. So eventually when I was able to come across another one, another cutting oh my god <laughs> you guys Chris don't touch the plant he doesn't really like to nibble on Hoyas thankfully but I wouldn't put it past him right now honestly so I'm just gonna put it over here he'll probably eat the paper okay yeah so I'm on plant number two of this and it's just it's growing so slow and some of the leaves are just growing and really wonky and it's irritating me. So when I saw that they had this one, you know that I had to pick it up because it's a nice big plant. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. You guys, look at it. Oh my goodness, it's a huge Hoya Obovada. I'm such a sucker 
for these leaves and like how round and big they are. Look at this leaf back here. Like what? Do you see this leaf? Do you see this leaf? Do you see it? Do you see that? Wow. Wow. There's some really seriously massive, beautiful, splashy leaves in here. Wow. Um, I'm going to spray these with Captain Jack's and then figure out where the hell I'm going to put them. But I don't even care right now because this is, this is stunning. This is so much foliage and he's sitting on the receipt. But <laughs> this Hoya Obavada in a six inch pot was $50. So altogether... Everything that I got came to 117 and I had a gift card for $100 that I won in the giveaway. And I am very satisfied with the prices, how quickly they shipped, how well they're packaged, how amazing they look. Look at them. Like, are you kidding me? They're a little overexposed right now. I apologize, but like... Seriously? These are stunning plants and they're huge. They're like the size of my head. Okay, so I am going to leave you here for now because like I said, I'm going to be getting another package in the mail this week with another Hoya that I bought from Homestead Plants. You guys would have seen me unbox some plants from her in a recent video. So naturally when I saw that she had this one, I was like, I am in love and I need it. That's it for right now. I appreciate you fam and I will see you soon. Hey fam, so it's the next day. And hopefully I'm looking a little bit like less of a mess today. I don't know. I tried, sort of. I have on uh, one of my favorite shirts from Boardwalk T-shirts. It says Gloom, where you're planted <laughs> with some carnivorous plants on it. And I can't find my usual stand that I use. So you're a little bit higher up than usual. So you can't even like really see it. But... This is their women's um, v-neck in a size small, and I really like it. So that's what we're wearing today. And I have another package from them that I'm going to open up, and I'm excited to see how the stuff fits that they sent me. So that's my happy dance. Can't really see it. I like stand further back. Happy dance. Okay, now I just look stupid. Anyway, the real point is <laughs> that I got another Hoya in the mail today. So you would have seen me just open my Obovada and my Crinkle. I'm going to show you guys what they look like in some better lighting and stuff over here today as well. And I, I watered them and I feel like once they've like settled in and they're like all clean, they just like look nicer. So I'm going to show you guys what those look like. I need scissors. I had box cutter, but I don't know what happened to it. So this is from Homestead Plants. You guys would have seen me unbox something from her recently. I got my Finlay Sonii and my Hoya Glabra, and they're doing fantastic. My Finlay is putting out a new leaf. It is so freaking cute, you guys. I can't handle it. I will update you on all my Hoya eventually. We're still battling the thrips in here a little bit. Honestly, I don't see them anymore and I'm not seeing damage on the new growth. So we're just keeping at it with the Captain Jacks. I'll leave that video for you guys up here too as well if you wanna see that. It's a longer vlog, but I am going to do a follow-up video that's shorter and more comprehensive in case you missed me talking about that in the last one. So. Today we're opening this one, and um, if you know me, one of the reasons why I love the Finlay Sonii so much is because I'm a sucker for like a veiny Hoya, which is why if you asked me, no matter what, my favorite Hoya is and always will be my Hoya Callistophylla. So any plant that looks like that, naturally, I need. So when I saw this one on her website, 
I was didn't get there in time to buy it. It literally sold out so fast the first time around. So the second time around, I was like, I need this plant. And it's a cultivar or like a hybrid of the Callistophylla. And I needed it. So homestead plants, you guys know the drill. I have ordered from her before. This is how she packages them. It does a really nice job cushioning the plant in there, taped down to the box so that it doesn't move around. And there we go. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm sorry, I'm trying to shake the camera. I'm just really excited. So today is Thursday. She shipped this on Monday. So the shipping is pretty quick and it's early in the day this time on Thursday, thankfully. So I can actually open it with you guys during a normal hour when the lighting isn't too overexposed or too dark. Oh my God, it's big. Oh my God. You guys, you guys, you guys. I don't have words. I don't, I don't, I don't have words for this. Do you have words for this? I don't have words for this. Oh my God, it has a peduncle. Oh my God, she sent me one with a peduncle. Victoria. Oh my God, you, I love you. <laughs> I'm literally like gonna cry right now. Please don't judge me. <laughs> so this is called Hoya New, N-U-I. I know everything's backwards. I'm gonna flip it around so that it's not backwards. I'm literally crying right now and I don't, I've just, I've had like an emotional couple of days. I don't know what's wrong with me and this is just like so stunning that I don't, I don't even know why it's making me emotional. It's just really beautiful. And um, I wanted it really badly. Okay, I'm fine. Plants just like make me happy. I don't know. It's stupid. It's stu I feel like an idiot right now for crying over a plant. I've just... I've been through so much lately, I just have been really stressed out and overwhelmed over like everything. And um, I don't know, this plant community is just like, like the nicest people in the world and I love being able to support a small business. Definitely go check out Victoria's shop at Homestead Plants, like I told you. She's super sweet and adorable and I mean, her plants are amazing. Uh, I need to get it together. Okay. Wow. You guys, this plant is beautiful. I love that, like, I went through the trouble of trying to, like, put a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and now I just cried all of it off. And it's got, like, some new, working on some new leaves right there. You see the peduncle? I don't know if it'll become active anytime soon, but just the fact that there is one there is absolutely <laughs> insane. Wow. <laughs> this is worth the money that I spent on it. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like 60 something. I'll leave it on the screen for you guys somewhere, but all of her Hoyas are really reasonably priced in my opinion, because look at how healthy and beautiful this is. Even the backs of the leaves look amazing, which is a thing that I always look for in my Hoyas to kind of assess their health. So <laughs> that is that. I am going to go and grab my Callistophylla out of the greenhouse really quick. I have some cuttings that I'm rooting that I can show you too, just so you can see the difference in the leaves. I don't know what this is crossed with, but I know that it is 
crossed with the Callistophylla. So let me go grab that really quick so that you could see her leaves and how freaking beautiful she is. I chopped her from here recently and I've been propagating her leaves and since then she put out another peduncle. I'm like, girl, leaves, girl, leaves. Not put more peduncles. She has one here that has already bloomed twice this year. And now she put out this one that is going to bloom really soon. I'm trying to get it to focus so you guys can see. This is one of my favorite blooms, honestly. They're just really pretty. So she looks like something green is going on up here. So maybe she's finally putting out a leaf all the way up here. But she needs to be repotted and put up on a trellis because I have those now. Honey Plant Co. sent them to me. That's fine. I think this one would actually suit it nicely. That's not a bad plan. We gotta find a pot for you, girl. This is the cutting that I took from the top. I'm just gonna put her down because she's really big. And I have nowhere to put her because I just have trash everywhere now. This is her new growth. Those are mosquito bits at the top, sorry. It's fungus gnats love the terrarium that I have her in. There's another little new leaf going on there. So I just wanted to show you the difference in the leaves. Okay, maybe that helps. So... The veination in the Callistophylla here is far more contrasting, even in some of the less contrasted leaves at the bottom there, you can see. And these leaves are a little bit thinner feeling. The Callistophylla leaves are thick. Let me tell you, these leaves are thick. That's why they, they stick out so turgid like that. And these are kind of like a little bit floppier. I only have two hands, so it's hard to show you, but really, I, I mean, I think the differences are pretty apparent, but the similarities, and you can tell that they're related, are also very apparent. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. This is my favorite Hoya that I have in my collection. I paid $100 for this one at Nelly's in Brooklyn and it came with 12 leaves on it. I've cut three of them. I've got them rooting. I have another one going in there that's just a single leaf and so far it hasn't put out anything new but 12 leaves for $100 was like a steal for this plant in my opinion. So yeah she's my favorite plant. That is her history. If you could see how stiff these leaves are compared to even like this more mature one here and it, I can tell like it obviously might need a little bit of water but these leaves are still pretty pretty happy and they're not as like thick and turgid as the Callistophylla so this is the Hoya cultivar new no nui no I don't know <laughs> it's fine so that is that I am going to grab the other Hoyas that I meant to grab while I was in there and I didn't to show you there's a weird bug on the outside of the window it's kind of cute though before we go I wanted to show you one more time in like some better lighting hopefully the Hoya crinkle 8 that I got yesterday from Honey Plant Co and all of its beautiful new growth points, like tons and tons of new growth points on this plant. I am obsessed with it. I have a few places where I can definitely take some cuttings if anybody is looking to trade some Hoyas. Your girl has got plenty of crinkle. I know that this is one that people like and look for, and I don't really come across them in the nurseries. So that is that one. Then the very exciting Hoya Obovada with her massive, gorgeous, round, splashy leaves. I cannot, like I just, I can't. This leaf back here is so big. It's kind of crazy how big some of these leaves are. And I am 
loving it. There's lots of new growth. This is new, you can tell, because it's still soft and the leaves are still pretty small. They'll get bigger as they harden off and yeah, once they're done growing, they'll harden off. But look at these massive leaves. You guys, they're like almost the size of my face. It's kind of crazy. So these are my Hoyas that I got from Honey Plant Co. Just wanted to give you a better look at those. Next, I want to open this package that I got from Boardwalk T-Shirts, who makes the shirt that I have on now. I have another one from them that I've worn in a bunch of videos. You've probably seen already my Floor Fatale white T-Shirt because I like live in it. It's so cozy. So when they said they wanted to send me a couple more, I was like, yes, please. I love them. They're super soft. I think they're all 100% cotton. They're made in the U.S. This company is from California. Um, let's see. All of the wrong people have imposter syndrome. They always send me a little sticker. I don't know what happened to the other one, but it said, isn't it a great time to be alive and anxious or something? They have a t-shirt like this as well. I got another shirt this time and a sweatshirt that I'm really excited about. So this one is plant related, of course, obviously. Not all of their shirts are plant related, but they do have some planty ones like the one I have on here. And this one says Frankenstein's Monstera. <laughs> I thought it was clever and funny. So yeah, I... I'm just gonna throw it on really quick. This is a, I think this should be a, a medium. No, this one's a large. This is, I think, a men's large. So it's a little bit big, but that's how I like it because I'm gonna put it in the dryer and shrink it and it's gonna fit great. It's like really long. Can even roll up the sleeves and like try and look cuter I guess but you know you guys if you know me you know I just like a big comfy men's t-shirt so and of course if you wanted something more fitted you can just get a smaller size like this is a women's small and it fits me not too fitted but nice and fitted so the next thing that I got is not plant related but I really wanted to try a sweatshirt so Hopefully this is a large as well. Do, 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 extra large, even better. So this is a sweatshirt. It says girls night. <laughs> it's just, it's very me. So it's a hoodie with the kangaroo pocket in the front. And hopefully it's nice and cozy wozy. Ooh, yes, girl, yes. Yes. Okay. You guys are going to be seeing this one <laughs> in a lot of videos. So just be prepared for that. Let me move you so you can actually see it. Yes. So again, it's an extra large, so it's pretty big, but it can be shrunk and I like them big. So yeah, that's that. I am low-key really excited about this sweatshirt and my new Hoya. So I'm going to leave you here and I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I don't have any thumbs available. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me I don't know, some cute little moon emojis, stars, little witchy things. If you're not into it, I apologize, but I am, so. Okay, or you can leave me plants. Leave me plant emojis in honor of Frankenstein's Monstera. Also, obviously, I have a code, Jacqueline's Jungle, if you guys want 10% off boardwalk t-shirts. I get a little bit of a commission if you purchase through them too, so I appreciate it if you do use my link and my code. 
all of the links in the description box if you shop through them and use my code i get a little bit of commission so i appreciate you if you do i should hopefully have some stuff up on etsy soon i've kind of just been holding off because of the thrips even though they're safe in a different area i don't want to freak anybody out so you know i'm gonna leave you here i love you fam and i will see you soon bye